Okay, so calculator's out. And let's graph those two equations. Go to y equals. And here we're going to have to use y instead of c and x instead of m, but that's okay. The variables don't really matter. So the first equation was 0.3x. That goes in y1. And then the second equation was uh, 15 plus 0.1x. Okay. Uh, we need some appropriate window settings because as it is right now, we can only see one of those lines. So you can see kind of on the graph in your notes that the x values go from 0 to how much? 130. Okay, so let's do that. And then the y values go from 0 to about how high? 55. Okay, so we graph that, and there's our intersection point, right? We can take our cursor here, you see the little crosshairs, and use your, your arrow keys to kind of get close-ish. But because of the resolution errors, we don't know if we're exactly on that point, right? So here's how you find that point exactly, or with a high degree of, of exactness, because sometimes it's not perfect because of the algorithm your calculator uses. But I outlined the steps here in your notes. What you do is you press second, this orange button, then trace, which if you look above, it says calc. Okay, so you press second, trace. And which of these options do you think would find the intersection? Intersect. Intersect. It's almost like they're trying to tell you. Okay, so you press five, and then you press enter three times, okay? First curve means just what's the first line you want to find the intersection with. Second curve means the second line to find the intersection with. And guess means that the calculator is going to use an algorithm to find a very, 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 very close approximation to that point. Okay, Usually it's dead on, but sometimes it'll be a little bit off. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so enter, 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 and boom. This time it found the exact intersection. 75 and 22.5. Okay, so again, that was second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter. Okay, we got the point 75 and 22.5. We had the point 75 and 22.5. That's the intersection point, right? That's this point right here, 75, 22.5. What does that mean? In context of the problem, it's a solution, sure. But what, is it, what does it mean in context of the problem? So after... Go ahead, Jacob. Um, after 75 minutes, um, it costs $22.5. At 75 minutes, At it costs $22.5 for both plans, yeah. for either plan. But after that point, B is... Yeah, after this point, B is cheaper. Before this point, A is cheaper. You guys all got that? Okay, so this is the crossover point. This is the point at which plan A will become more expensive and plan B will become cheaper. Whereas prior to that, it's the reverse.